Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So as my title, I'm gonna be doing a nursery tour, finally. I am just over 38 weeks pregnant and yeah, it feels completely complete and I feel like sharing it. So um, yeah, from like a background, some of you may know or may not know, but this is our fourth bedroom in our house. This has always been an office slash dumping ground and we currently still have this as a office slash nursery now. Um, so you'll see how I've kind of used the space that we have to make it into a nursery and then for future we are more than likely going to be moving the office out of this room and this is going to be an actual bedroom but for the first year to 18 months they're barely in their bedrooms anyway and um, I think what I've done with the space is actually quite good um, so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video I will try, try and leave everything linked in the description bar as well if you're looking to have a gender neutral kind of nursery it's quite um, yeah it's quite kind of like gender neutral quite minimal I haven't gone too crazy with stuff but um, yeah I hope you enjoy it and yeah let's take you around I have actually originally just pulled this out this was actually in the middle of the nursery but um, Obviously our pushchair will be going into the car and then also the car seat. We have a Maxi Cozy Pebble Plus and a um, Mountain Buggy Swift. If you're wondering, uh, this is the carry cot attachment. I will leave the video if you want to see the whole demo that I did with this. So yeah, I'll leave that linked down below if you want to see a demo of the Mountain Buggy Swift with the all the attachments basically. So yeah, straight into the bedroom got my hospital bag there ready at the moment I've got a couple things here that the umbrella and the box are for the car I just thought um I actually originally got this for like it's like a um a bath mat but I don't like it and I bought it and it was quite cheap and I thought oh it would be actually quite handy to keep in the boot for changing baby if I need to our boots obviously quite big um, so if I ever need like a changing pad, that would be perfect or laying the baby down as it gets older. I just thought that would be quite useful. So that's going in the boot, <laughs> like a catch-all basket at the bottom of where the car seat is going to be. I thought that would be quite useful for nappies and the rest of it. And then this is actually a rail to go on the wall. We haven't put that up yet and I, I don't, I still don't know where to put it and you might have to help me with ideas, but we might not put it up. We might just end up hanging the, the baby's clothes in like Violet's wardrobe. She's got a massive like triple size wardrobe, but we'll see. But anyway, so um, yeah, you pretty much, this is the room. Give you a bit of an overview. It's how big it is. And I'll show you this side first. So I'll step back and you can see, so we have an Ikea crib that was I want to say 60 pounds we also bought the ikea mattress i think that was the more expensive one maybe over just over 100 pounds um and i've put some of the underneath actually is quite good for storage so i've put some of the car um, not car the push chair attachments under there so like the bigger seat the um just some extra bits really i've put under there just for pure storage and then um the chest of drawers this little kiddies, kiddies style one that you can get in the kiddie section uh, is also from Ikea but it was originally Violet's she's just upgraded into a bigger one um, so I thought it'd be perfect for in here fits in nicely and um, yeah that's kind of what we've put on the wall um, we've got this canvas which I actually picked up in the next sale it was originally £40 it went down to £10 and it's I would just think it's perfect for the nursery, very gender neutral. I got some green garland, which was four ninety nine from the range, and I just love it. I think it's just kind of made it a bit more of a feature on the wall. The macrame is from Amazon. Again, I can leave all this stuff linked, although that probably has gone now because uh, it was in the next sale over summer. Um, and then also the little um, kind of, I don't know, rattan style mirror i've put up that was originally from ebay but it's like a little boutique on ebay again i'll leave that linked i just think it, it works quite nicely with the woods and like quite natural um my baby changing bag is there um which is from amazon and it's by akido this is actually a little brooch that 
Alistair bought for me, so I put it on there because I thought it was really sweet. And yeah, this is like a back backpack style changing bag, which I've already filled up and it's pretty much ready to go. Um, the little penguin, that was just a gift when we were on an event. So I've put that in here. And then this is actually an Ikea rug, which was originally in our room, but it kept getting crumpled up and I don't actually really know where to put it. So I just put it on there. Uh, here's a little view of what's in the drawers, like swaddles. There's, it's not really that organized to be perfectly honest, but there's like naught to three months stuff here. Some extra swaddles, bibs, uh, a couple of hats and mitts. Um, some like swaddle blankets that are already kind of made up and then some sheets pretty much just loads of sheets in there um, and then in here we've just got loads of extra bits like cotton wool and stuff and then just blankets these are actually all of the children's I've kept them all I just you know you just you feel like I'm really sentimental so yeah a lot of neutral ones uh, a couple of handmade ones from Graham's mum from years ago some girlier ones from when we had Vi and yeah so that is what's in the drawers. All this stuff obviously won't be in the cot when a baby is in a cot but I've just put it in there at the moment. Um, the mobile is the original mobile from when we had Alistair so it's over 10 years old originally from mother care and it's obviously very gender neutral and sweet. It's got a little music box as well um, and then we've got a Sleepy Head Deluxe, um, which is there in white. The little, um, this is from the range. I think it was $5.99. I just thought that was really sweet. It's not really, it's more decorative than anything. It probably end up being propped up here once the baby's here. This little lamb is the first thing we ever bought Alistair. Um, again over 10 years ago and then obviously Violet was playing with it this is from Mother Care and it's just a crinkly little lamb the Teddy Throw is from Dunelm it's £10 they do them in lots of different colours and this is the kind of medium size I don't think it's the biggest size they have and then I also got a widgie or nursing pillow from TK Maxx if you watch my baby buys hauls you would see all of this as well and it's all linked um, the sheet itself, I got quite a few from, I can't remember if it was Verber Day, it might be Verber Day, but I got a couple of like cot sheets from there because they were having a sale and I really like the colour, I just thought it, it's quite nice and um, just better, just a bit different than white, you know. Um, yeah, so that's sort of that area and then we come over here, it's just a standard Ikea brown blind which has always been up for the last like over six years got some like photos again they've always been up there our little stool I've had this originally it was in our bedroom but we just haven't used it so I thought it would be great in here that's originally from home sense I think I paid 20 pounds for it it might have been a little bit cheaper but I've had it for years and it's just again it's it kind of ties quite nicely it's like velvet um, and when I pull my chair out the chair is from eBay um, I could always like this is kind of going to be my feeding office chair. It kind of, um, when you're in it, it kind of, it kind of goes back a little bit, which is quite good. And I think I could probably just prop my feet up if I fancied. Um, I can't remember where the pillow is from. It might be from IKEA. And then the rug is also from HomeSense. That was, I want to say, twenty pounds, twenty-five pounds. Um, and then we've got the Jerry Bouncer, which I bought secondhand, which was practically new a couple of baskets this one is like the laundry basket I've already got like a, um, a sheet in there that I need to wash and then some kind lovely lady messaged me and sent me loads of reusable nappies so when the baby's a bit bigger they the baby will be able to wear those which I can use um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to do kind of um, home days of like reusable nappies um, and then I got this lovely sack sent to me. Again, I'll leave it linked um, from this company on Instagram. And it matches my de decal um, stickers on the wall. I just thought that was so sweet. And she messaged me saying, I've got the perfect sack for you. So, um, yeah, it will be a great toy sack when obviously it's older. Um, yeah, so um, the uh, sideboard itself was always always in here. These drawers are office based and just stuff that we just need to house. 
and then these two are baby related stuff um i'll show you those actually i've pulled out a lot of stuff because everything's like in different bags now hospital bag whatever but it's vests um some hats some mittens and some uh, sleep suits in there and then we've got some extra bits and bobs in here carriers a couple of little toys and books that i've put in there and then we have the east coast nursery um wedge origami sort of changing mat you can see the shape of it i quite like the fact that the sides went up and then i also put in these kind of waterproof um bamboo liners which you can i've got a pack of three from amazon and it just it saves the baby going on a cold surface but also they're washable so you can you know waterproof and washable so they were handy they're going to be handy i think i've got my cheeky wipes i used those with my other two before but i bought obviously a new batch because i didn't have any and then here we've got some nappies just some random stuff in here we've got the little owl which is plays music um different types of music and white noise and stuff and then i've just got extra bits like nappy sacks this is a thermometer i've got a couple of uh, dummies in here which are the only ones i've got and to be perfectly honest my two never had dummies so i don't even know if i'm going to use them but i just bought a couple um some coconut oil is really really good for the bum um lavender and chamomile scent this is for the cheeky wipes um yeah just some standard stuff really nothing that fancy i'm hoping just to use cheeky wipes i'm, I'm at home um and not any disposable wipes the um little basket itself my sister actually um gave us this for christmas as it's as like a hamper like there's loads of got goodies in there and i thought it would be perfect for the nursery so i'm kind of just reusing it i think it's originally from home sense and the basket is also from home sense and i've just got some swaddles in here a couple of more of these bamboo liners for the changing pad um yeah these two are from um ebay this one i have uh, another two but they are from the i'll leave them linked they're cuddle cozy and me i think it's called cozy mum and me i think brand and then this one is agent and an a one again the decals are from ebay and i love them because they're kind of a little bit shiny can you see um i just i literally just stuck them on willy-nilly <laughs> i just thought it was a bit it's a bit more something than nothing and then this unit is from ikea we've had it for years it's been in violet's room i think it's originally in alistair's room with like these ikea boxes but um yeah the boxes were ruined but i've kept the bot the shelving itself um and then i actually bought these crates from waitrose last year and used a few of them as like hamper gifts and then i kept as you can see i've kept three of them um and i just thought they'd be perfect for the nursery so this one all the towels are washed and then all like bubble baths and brushes and stuff um this one is literally just nappies and wipes and then we've just got some extra bits like travel bits here and then my ne my um, maternity notes and then we've got size two and extra wipes here and that is pretty much this area we've still got the shelf that's just some of my craft stuff there um, and then i've got two these two prints are actually from when the kids were little I will do one with this baby, but this one was Violet when she was 21 months old. It's all her hand prints. And this one was Alistair when he was age four. Um, I'm hoping to get some baskets up here for like more clothing storage or whatever um, at some point. And then we've got some, just some random teddies and stuff up there. So, and then this is obviously our office station. So we've just got stuff that we literally need. Um where I you know edit and work from a lot of the time there's a lot of stuff underneath um just stuff that we need like printer and uh, laminator and stuff but um I've got some of the baby clothes that need hanging um but I'm not sure where to hang them I'm still undecided I could I was potentially the ordnance survey um was originally there when I moved it to there I could potentially put the rail up there that's what I was kind of thinking get take that down put the rail up there and just have the clothes hanging um but I'm not sure 
so yeah that is pretty much the nursery slash office oh we've got a little grow egg over here as well i had one of those with the other two so i thought i'd get one of those got a little light as well this little light's from ikea and this is just a little overview our little macrame ha light hanging is from ebay it's handmade i thought it was really sweet so i had to put that in here but yeah this is basically an overview of the room plenty of space I mean a lot of this stuff will be out of here anyway but yeah this is pretty much the nursery anyway I really hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry I've been so out of breath like throughout it's just the baby's so high up on the ribs now I just feel I can't breathe and like take a, like talk and take a breath at the same time it's like <sighs> But um, yeah, I hope it's giving you some like nursery inspiration. I'll try and leave everything linked like I mentioned. I really hope you like it. Um, I'm actually in love with this room. I think it's just, it feels like a really calm space, which I really like. Um, but yeah, any more video requests, let me know. And I will see you all soon.